Let's go. So this is a short video describing um, how to use an oscilloscope to measure um, AC and DC voltages. So here, here we have a function generator um, generating a particular uh, sine wave of a particular amplitude and offset. And we're going to go ahead and measure the amplitude. So the amplitude right now would be it's the distance from the middle of the wave to the top or, or the bottom. So um, in this case, if we align the wave with its axes with, with the center of the screen, we can see that um, it covers about two grid lines in, in, in both directions. And since our scale is at two volts, um, two grid lines would, meet, would represent uh, four volts. So in this case, our, our, um, our amplitude is, is four volts. Um, the way you measure uh, offset, DC offset, is it would be the distance between our zero line and the middle of the wave. So in this case, it just so happens that our one, the little channel one, the, the zero line of channel one, is um, exactly at one of the, 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 the minima of the wave. But uh, let's say we adjust our offset a little bit higher. Um, now the offset becomes from zero to the middle of the wave, which is let's see one to about uh, three point two there. If, if we if the axis is right there, so around three point point two um, times two volts, so that'd be around six point four volts um, DC offset. The difference between AC and DC. Um, <clears throat> so um, here right now we're in DC coupling. Um, what this means is we can see the DC offset um, of the wave. If we go ahead and move to um, AC coupling, we will see that the DC offset disappears and we only see um, the alternating part of the wave, um, so the sine wave. And uh, as you can see, if I turn the offset uh, back and forth, uh, the wave stays in the middle <laughs> and if I go back to DC and I move it back and forth you can see the wave moves uh, up and down as it should with, with DC offset. Um, so AC, AC coupling is useful when you're measuring um, only the AC part of the wave so if, if I want just the function uh, um, without any 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 uh, DC current analysis. Um, triggering, well, the, the effect of a trigger is essentially um, to keep the wave still. So as you can see there, there's these two points here. This is um, this this uh, horizontal kind of um, part, which is the, posi the position of the wave. So where this point hits the wave and meets with, with that one, with the trigger uh, location, that is where the the wave will kind of stay constant. And uh, if we move it outside of the 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 the, the domain or uh, the range, the range of the wave, then what we'll see is it starts to become very um, a lot of motion. Um, so yeah, uh, that pretty much covers it.